something's funky. Be very, 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 very perk. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a little lip swatch and review video for y'all today on these new Rimmel lipsticks. These are the only one matte lipsticks, and this is what it said on the display. It said, Major Matte, a no compromise all-in-one matte lipstick. Non-drying, color, comfort, moisture, and wear. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So I'm gonna run through the different colors, show you swatches on my lips, show you swatches on my hand, and just kind of give you my overall thoughts and impressions on these lipsticks. So let's get to it. So really quickly touching on the packaging, they look a lot like the other, the only one lipsticks from Rimmel. Same sort of shape, except instead of being black, these are red, and instead of being shiny, they're kind of like a matte sort of a finish to them. So I really do like the packaging. And then also um, on the little like line, little band that goes around them here, it shows the color so that's nice too and then on the bottom you have the color as well I found these at Walgreens and they were $7.49 each so I found a display with six different shades so I purchased all six of them but I'm sure that there will be more so those were just the ones that I could find so I'm gonna run through the six different shades that I found but you may find a display or somewhere that has a bunch more colors so the first one we're gonna start with is number 200 salute this is a really pretty kind of like muted, everyday, warm-toned pink. So if you like a pink, but you don't want it to be super duper bright, especially if you don't want it to be cool toned, you don't want it to pull purple or gray, I think you would really like Salute. It's a really pretty color, but still kind of girly, which is fun. Um, really quickly, let me talk about the formula of these. I think the way that they look on the lips, they look a lot like the Maybelline Creamy Mattes. They just have that sort of like, I don't know, creamy matte look on the lips. They don't look super duper drying, but they do look matte. I do think that these feel a little bit more drying than the creamy mattes. I wouldn't say that they are drying, but the creamy mattes are so comfortable in my opinion. I think these feel a little bit less comfortable, a little bit more drying. So I would say I wouldn't call these hydrating by any stretch, but I also wouldn't call them drying. I would just call them right in the middle a comfortable matte lipstick. So I'm really like the, liking the formula of these and how they feel on the lips and also how they look on the lips. I think they look really nice. Ooh, this one is pretty. If you love a bright classic red, I think you'd love this one. This is 500 Take the Stage and it is a bright red. Like it's, it's a pretty statement red, but I think it's really, really beautiful, really fun. If anything, I would say it pulls a little bit um, warm tone, a little bit on the orangey side, but not super duper orangey. It's really kind of just more of a classic red, but it's a bright one. Now let me talk about a major negative of these. Major is the scent. They are sickeningly sweet and almost like I've noticed not all of them, like some of them are just really sweet smelling, but some of them are so sweet that it's almost weird smelling like it just smells bad like it's gone so sweet it's too sweet it's weird it's chemically and it's overpowering and nasty smelling so I hate the scent on these really really hate the scent and when I'm applying it I can smell it when it's on my lips I can smell it for a little bit I can even taste it for a little bit so that's a major negative on these but if you can kind of get past that and deal with the scent, I'm liking the formula, but that's just a major negative that I have to mention. This one is number 600, Keep It Coral, and this is one of the ones that's like, whoa, what happened to the scent on this? Something's funky. Something went funky with this one. <laughs> Color-wise, I think it's nice. It's not my favorite. Um, looking at it in the bullet, like, I thought it would be more muted and not as kind of like, I don't know, bright orangey, corally. It's not a bad color and I mean, it's not a bad color. It's just not my favorite color and not exactly what I was expecting from what it looks like in the lipstick tube. So yeah, that one is 600 Keep It Coral. This one's a beautiful color. This is number 610 High Flyer. And this is a gorgeous, kind of like everyday, muted, pinky mauve. I love this one. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's 
a go with everything kind of color, um, but still a statement sort of, well, not even a statement sort of lip, but it, it's got enough color to it that it's not a super duper neutral, but I think it's also neutral enough that it'll go with pretty much every makeup look, I would say. So just a beautiful color. I like that one a lot. 610 High Flyer. This one is my favorite of the bunch. This is number 700 Trendsetter, and this is a beautiful warm toned nude color but it's like a kind of darker nude. I love this one. It's a little bit edgy, a little bit different, just a beautiful brownie nude. And I loved it. It's a little bit warm toned, almost like not mustardy colored, but kind of like moving towards that, just kind of an edgier sort of a nude. Really, really like this one. This is the one that I've worn several times to kind of test these out. And then I also wore that one too. So, I keep grabbing for this one. So this is my favorite of the bunch. And lastly, this is another one of my favorites. This is 810 The Matte Factor. And it is a gorgeous kind of like reddish wine berry kind of a shade. Ooh, it's just, it is, it is, ooh, it is so pretty. I mean, love this one. And I feel like um, a lot of times these sort of colors go on a little bit patchy, but I don't really feel like this one did. In the swatch, it maybe looks a little bit patchy, but on my lips, I think it applied really nicely. Very creamy, very, 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 very opaque. It's just a really beautiful color. I love this one. I think it's so, so nice. So quite a bit of variety there. Um, I'm sure they're gonna have more colors. I just probably found the smaller display with six different shades. So even within the six, I think there's a good variety of options there. So overall impression on these lipsticks, I really, really like the formula of them. I really like how they feel on the lips. I love how they look on the lips. I like the packaging of them. The scent is really the major negative. So I think it's really just gonna depend on how sensitive you are to scents and also how sensitive you are to this particular scent. So the display that I found, they weren't sealed. So I mean, you know, if you wanna open it and smell it, obviously don't touch it or apply it, but just smell it and see if you can handle the scent of it. Then you can kind of make your own decision. I can handle the scent. Um, other than the ones that are like super funky. So the ones that are like super sweet to the funky point, I don't know if I can handle that. But the other ones that are just more of a super duper sweet, I feel like I can handle that because I like the formula enough to kind of put up with the scent. So yeah, that's my overall impression and review on these lipsticks. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried these. What do you think about them? What are your thoughts? What's your favorite shade that I showed? What are you thinking about them? I love hearing your thoughts. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.